Hey guys, I've been using OpenVPN to get um, onto the UK internets so that I can watch BBC iPlayer. But the problem I found is that when I launch OpenVPN on my on my machine, then I'm sort of, you know, the, the whole the whole machine lock, stock, and barrel is in the UK, and I wanted just the browser window to be in the UK. And I think I've just accomplished this now. See, this one is in the UK, and this one isn't. So, um, to be honest, it was kind of complicated to do this, um, but I'll try and tell you how I did it very briefly. Um, how I did it was using um, a container, and inside that container, I'm launching OpenVPN, and I'm launching Chrome. Initially, I wanted to run Firefox, but Firefox doesn't seem to like um, the sound environment that I have in there. Well, well Chrome seems to cope. So, um, what is there to show you? I can quickly show you the systemd file to spawn it. And what was it called? Systemd and spawn Firefox. So it's a bit of a nightmare, but here we, this line basically gets the magic cookie for X. Uh, this line shares my .config. I'm not too sure if that's required. There's another magic cookie thing for X. This um, shares my sound device. Um, this shares the magical pulse audio cookie thing. This just shows you where my, um, <clears throat> my container is. This is also to do with shared memory, which I d discovered I had to disable. This is probably unnecessary. And that's to say that it has its own network. And then when I want to get into it, I launch it up with these sort of um, environment variables. So when I'm uh, here I am, when I'm at Firefox, I'm in the container. And when I run xclock, for example, that's actually running in a container. So it's pretty rad. Um, yeah, if I run Firefox, I can show you what, what does. The, uh, why? Why? <laughs> okay, I don't even know what's going on there anymore. Um, but Chrome does work. Um, and um, yeah, um, I will polish this up and try and whittle down my config. And, um, and hopefully you can too learn how to run a browser window in an open VPN. Yeah. Um, or oh, another thing I'm worth mentioning is um, I can save it for another video how to set up the VPN um, I don't recommend any VPN service I recommend just doing, just getting a digital ocean or whatever box wherever you want the VPN endpoint to be and, and running a docker uh, image uh, to set up the VPN open VPN okay that's it for now see you guys